the last U.S. combat troops departing from Iraq this week. It's a good time to check in on our local Marines who were stationed in Afghanistan. Tony Perry is the San Diego Bureau Chief for the Los Angeles Times, and he joins us live from the Helmand province to give us an update on the combat operations in Afghanistan. Tony, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doing quite well. It's hot, but... Uh... I'm doing well, and it's nice to have the sun down. It's around uh, 10.30 at night here, so it's cooled off just a bit. Okay, so give us a picture of what's going on in Helmand Province. How violent is it there? It's very violent there. There are approximately 20,000 Marines and sailors uh, spread out in a sprawling province, which is one of the home grounds uh, of the Taliban. About 10,000 of those Marines and sailors are from Camp Pendleton. Oh. A series of villages strung out along the Helmand River, Many of them controlled at one point by the Taliban. It's the Marines' job to wrest control away from the Taliban and also help local government establish itself. 20,000. So that's a lot of resources. Why so many resources committed to Helmand Province? Well, counterinsurgency by its nature is labor intensive. Indeed, they probably have fewer resources than they need, but the number of troops and the deadline for them to start leaving the country, of course, is a politically driven decision, and the decision has been made to keep it at 20,000 and to start talking, talking about withdrawing from July 2011. Now, in Helmand Province, that doesn't really seem realistic. I don't think anyone expects the Marines from Camp Pendleton or any of the other bases to start coming home next July. That's interesting, but you would last there in February. How has the mission changed in Helmand Province, province since your last visit? It is. The tempo of it has increased dramatically. A lot more uh, bases are being built, small and large. Uh, there's a lot more going out and trying to get to know the people. There is a lot more what they call pushing to contact, going out, finding the Taliban, seeing if they want to fight, and then fighting them. It, there is a lot more activity near the Iranian border, near the northern part of Helmand province, uh, near a dam project that the Taliban is trying to uh, stop, down near the Pakistan border, where what they call rat lines, that is um, underground railroad, if you will, that brings in fighters and munitions and other things from Pakistan. It's a lot more fighting than it appears in the press day to day. Yeah, I was going to say that. I mean, the information you're giving me is kind of a surprise. I, I read about it, but I hadn't heard or read anything like this. Has this got something to do with the fact that General David Petraeus has replaced General Stanley McChrystal as the, the top commander in Afghanistan? No, it doesn't, Gloria. Mm -hmm. What it has to do with is the fact that the Marines, starting last July and now increasingly, are moving into areas where there have been no coalition forces or minimal forces. And the Taliban, having controlled those, for, those areas, are very reluctant to give them up because, um, among other things, this is where the poppy crop is. This is where the uh, crop that turns into heroin, that turns into enormous profits for the insurgency is. They don't want to give up this area and their ability to use that crop to fund uh, the insurgency and also some of them are just out now criminals. They don't want to give it up either. And so that's, that's why. Uh, the, the change of generals may have a, a uh, effect at some later date, but I think on the ground for the 19-year-old grunt from Camp Pendleton, his work is the same today as it was before the Rolling Stone article. So, Tony, it sounds to me as though the challenge in Afghanistan is, is much more severe than it was just a few months ago. Am I getting the right sense from that? Uh, to a certain extent, you are, Gloria. I, I think we're recognizing that the challenge is greater. We're stepping up to the challenge. It was just as great six months ago. We just weren't attempting to confront it. This is a very fractured, expansive, complex country, much more so than Iraq. Iraq uh, is smaller. It was more educated. It was more controllable by a certain group, uh, Sunni sheikhs, for example, in Al Ambar, where the Marines from Camp Pendleton were and were very successful. Here, there is not anything quite analogous. It's much more fractured. You also have the, the whole, as I said, poppy and criminal element. It's very, very difficult. Okay, well, I thank you very much for being with us, and please stay sa safe, Tony Perry. Will do.